Uh, welcome to Community at Home. I hope you're doing uh, well uh, on this uh, Monday, May the 11th. Uh, we're going to be uh, meeting today as a staff later in the afternoon talking about some different things. Uh, and we're going to be making some announcements in the next few days about how we're going to continue to approach uh, this situation that we're in. Uh, but in the meantime, today I want to share with you something that uh, uh, if you're part of Anthem Community Church, uh, and you hear me teach very much, you hear me talk about uh, these six statements. It's that I am I'm chosen, I'm redeemed, I'm holy and blameless, I've been forgiven, I've been sealed with the Spirit and adopted to reign. Uh, those are six things that we get out of the first book in Ephesians. And these, uh, these six things become uh, a part of us because it's our identity in Christ. Uh, we spend a, a fair bit of time talking about these things just on a week-to-week -week basis. It, it comes out of uh, our Pure Heart Weekend that we teach, which is an intensive uh, two-day thing where we go through and, and we learn how to pray and we learn how to invite Jesus in, into our, our soul. Uh, but the primary part of that is for us to understand who we are in Christ. Uh, I want to talk about the part of this about being sealed with the Spirit. And I want to share with you uh, from today's uh, from today's devotional, I, I have a little devotional that uh, Larry gave me um, a long time ago. Uh, it's called Thoughts from the Diary of a Desperate Man uh, by, uh, I never can remember his last, his, uh, Walter Hendrickson. And this is today's. Today he talks about uh, this part about being sealed with the Spirit. I want to read from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 13 and 14. It says, And now you Gentiles have also heard the truth, the good news that God saves you. And when you believed in Christ, He identified you as His own by giving you the Holy Spirit whom He promised long ago. And that's the, He sealed us with His Spirit. Now, if you were part of the sermon yesterday, if you watched it, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. We talk about the good news. We talk about believing. We talk about a lot of things that are in this verse. Let me read it again. He says, And now you Gentiles have heard the truth, the good news, that God saves you. And when you believed in Christ, He identified you as His own by giving you the Holy Spirit, whom He promised long ago. The Spirit is God's guarantee that He will give us the inheritance He promised and that He has purchased us to be His own people. He did this so we would praise and glorify Him. He did this so we would praise and glorify Him. Walter talks about three things that the Spirit, what it means with them when the Spirit has sealed us, when He has given us. It's three things He's done. One, the first thing He's done, it's His way of saying, God owns me. God owns you. You are His. I am His. He owns me. The second way, the second way we use this word sealed is He stamped. He stamped us uh, with His presence. He stamped us with genuine. When I do a wedding, uh, there's two pieces of paper that they give uh, to do weddings here. One is just kind of a souvenir piece that you frame. The other one is the legal document. And I, when I perform the wedding, I have to fill that legal document out. If I give that legal document back to you, it's not a legal document. The reason it's not a legal document is because it hasn't been stamped by the state. So what I have to do is I have to take that and turn it in to the proper local authorities. They take that document that I have filled out me saying that I have performed a legal marriage uh, for that couple, and then they stamp it and seal it, and then they send it to the couple, and that's what they use to prove that they're married. That they're married. This is very similar to the language that God, that the Apostle Paul is using when he's talking about it in Ephesians. So God, when I'm sealed with His Spirit, I'm owned by Him. I'm now His. He has stamped me genuine, and then the third thing is He protects me. He is going to protect me with His Spirit. I'm going to be able to live out and fulfill His calling on my life. Now, His calling on my, my life may not be what I want it to be, but he's going to, he's going to do that. He's going to protect me. He's going to always have my best interest at heart. And, and I've been thinking about that. I was thinking about that some this morning. I was praying and I was journaling and, and thinking about, how we want to get back to normal and how we, and, and we do, and we have to be at some point. But at the same time, we got to make sure that we're taking advantage of this time. We have all been presented with a time right now 
that's different than anything we've ever been presented in our life? Are we taking advantage of that? Are we allowing God to speak into our lives what he wants uh, to teach us? The, the other thing here, he says that it's a guarantee. In verse 14, the spirit is God's guarantee. So I've been sealed with his spirit that he will give us the inheritance he promised and he purchased us to be his own people. He did this so we will praise and glorify him. The, the terminology that Walter uses in the devotional is this. It's like a down payment. When you buy a house or you buy a car, you put a down payment on it and you're saying, okay, this is kind of my promise to you that I'm going to fulfill the rest of this that is owed. And Jesus is saying, I mean, God is saying, listen, I, 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 it was God and Jesus are saying, listen, here's the Holy Spirit. This is a promise. I'm fulfilling this promise to you. And it's a guarantee that all of the things that I've promised are going to come true. I, I, I pray that you have been sealed with the Spirit that you have believed the good news. And if you don't know what believe means, make sure you watch uh, May 10th sermon as we preached, as we taught about that yesterday from Mark chapter one. And when we are sealed with him, may we know that we're protected. May we know that we've been stamped as genuine. And may we know that he owns us. It is no longer I who living, but it's him who lives within me. Uh, we're planning on doing Pure Heart Weekends in June, July, and August. We're going to do uh, a, a, a guy one and a lady one uh, in June, a guy and a lady one in, in July, and a guy and lady one in August. We know that we can do these uh, because we don't uh, we don't put more than about ten people uh, in the retreat. Uh, we we limit that anyway, so we fit all the guidelines. We'll do all the stuff that we're doing. So pay attention; those dates are going to be coming out. If you haven't done Pure Heart Weekend, you need to do it. I just cannot emphasize enough how important it is for you to go through that. And now is the time. Maybe this summer, everything's going to be uh, not in a normal summer. I hope you'll take advantage of that. And if you have done Pure Heart Weekend and you haven't done it with your pastor leading it, you need to do it again. And I, I, I'm just telling you, you need to do it again. Uh, so pay attention to those dates. Sign up uh, and let's experience an incredible weekend together. And in the meantime, may you know May I know, may we live knowing that we have been sealed with the Spirit and have a little bit of an explanation of what that actually means. Talk to you soon.